Hey guys, Mama Reviews here. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the Summer Baby Touch Digital Color Video Monitor. So this is a, obviously as the title says, it's a video monitor, not an audio one for a baby in your nursery. This is what the box looks like here. It obviously doesn't have everything inside it because um, I'll show you that in some footage later on. But this is what the unit looks like on the back. So it does have the touchscreen remote control on its docking base and a, a camera as well. And that docking base is a portable one. I'm just going to insert a stock picture here and I'm going to talk about the stats that are written on the box. For the baby unit, it has a camera that can scan, pan, and zoom for the best view of the baby. It's got an AC-powered camera, which it has an adapter included, nighttime LED lights for viewing baby in a darkened room, a tabletop or wall mounting option, a power-on indicator, a battery pack included for portability, and this portable battery pack does require four AA batteries. Now the parent's handheld is 2.4 gigahertz digital technology for clarity, privacy, and range, 3.5 inch color touch LCD screen, a daytime color display, automatic black and white settings, remote scan, pan, and zoom, a magnetic recharging base is included, the screen automatically times out to save batteries, uh, the rechargeable batteries last up to 10 hours with on-screen battery life indicator, there's visual sound lights, a belt clip and a stand for complete portability, up to 400 foot range, an expandable system, up to four cameras. Obviously, you have to purchase these cameras separately, and uh, it includes an AC adapter. I've actually got the unit uh, upstairs. I'm not holding it in my hands right now. I'm going to show you some footage right after this of what the basic features are. But just jumping right into a quick review on this, um, I really love having this monitor. And I just want to say that I never had an audio monitor before. I actually got this unit as a gift for my baby shower. Uh, I think at Toys R Us.ca it retails for approximately $350, $400. So yes, it is a very large investment. Um, I would suggest that if you are thinking about getting a video monitor, then perhaps put it on your, your registry list so then multiple people can kind of chip in on that. Or maybe a couple of really generous people will buy you that as, uh, as they did for my baby shower. But I've been really lucky to have this. It has made a huge difference in how I check up on my child. So for the first few weeks of Grayson's life, I practically lived in his nursery just because of postpartum recovery time. Um, so I didn't really need a video or audio monitor. Um, but after moving him into his crib and me going back to my room, it's definitely helped. You can hear him cry when he's awake and that's all great. But obviously as new parents, you're gonna be a little bit paranoid. Once your baby starts sleeping through the night, you wake up five hours later and you're kind of like, oh my God, my baby's dead. So instead of rushing over and waking up your baby, if in fact he is still just sleeping, um, you can just pop on the monitor to make sure he's okay. You can see that he's breathing, um, that he's happy, and things are all fine. Video monitor is also great, in my opinion, to have um, during nap times or really any time that you want to check up on your baby. So whenever Grayson's up in his room for nap time, um, the monitor goes on, I bring it with me wherever I go, and the screen is always on so I can always see what's going on. So if I put him down for a nap and he's crying, I can see if he's uncomfortable, if he's flailing about, or if he's really just trying to put himself to sleep. The great thing is to be able to see your child on camera as well, so in case they, they happen to roll over onto their stomach, you can tell that right away. Whereas if you have just an audio monitor, you may not be able to hear that. Uh, I know that they have those angel care I think they're called angel care, but it's um, a motion sensor underneath. You put the mat underneath your baby, and once your baby moves, then it kind of notifies you. But they also have a false alarms from what I hear, where it says your baby's moving, but they're actually not. Um, this way, you can always just check to see if your baby's moving. You don't have to run upstairs to make sure that they're okay. And I don't know if it's just because I'm a first-time parent or all parents have this, but sometimes I'll be doing something, and I swear that I hear Grayson cry, um, and I turn on the video monitor and he's still sleeping. He hasn't moved an inch, so it just appears that I'm crazy. I imagine that if you're a parent of any amount of children, being able to see your baby on the monitor without actually having to go upstairs to the room and check on them will save you tons of time. Because if I didn't have a video monitor and I thought I heard Grayson cry, I would be going upstairs every five, 10 minutes and possibly interrupting his sleep. So this is just a really quick overview. It's not super in-depth. I just want to show you what the monitor and the, the camera actually look like in person. I'm gonna show you the auto color and auto black and white, um, as well as what it looks like zoomed in and the different features on the handheld video monitor. One more quick note before I get into that footage. Um, at my baby shower, I actually received a different video monitor. The one that I wanted was also by Summer Infant, and I think it was $400. And it was a handheld unit that was in color and everything, but the nice thing about that was you could log on anywhere in the world um, as long as you're on the internet. You'd be able to watch the same feed that I was watching on there. 
Um, I tried that out for about a week or so, but the unfortunate thing for that is that it didn't have a pan or zoom function. It's basically a stationary camera and you couldn't go left or right, up and down or zoom or back and forth or anything. And while that's not absolutely necessary in a video monitor, I have found that to be really, really helpful. Um, I did have a couple times where Grayson's now kind of rolling around in his sleep. So he started off at one end of the bed where I could see him and he rolled over to the other side and I couldn't see him so luckily I was able to pan my camera up and down and then I could catch what he was doing. Not that he was in danger, it's just sometimes it's amusing to see what's going on. So this is what it looks like in black and white mode. Uh, Grayson's sleeping right now and all the curtains in his room are shut so it automatically goes to black and white mode and I'll show you color mode after this. So the great thing about this, if you touch it to the side, you can pan the camera up and down. You can also pan it left and right. You can zoom in. Um, when you zoom in, the quality doesn't get better. It gets a little bit worse. It obviously gets more pixelated. So that's what it looks like there. You can also adjust the brightness. Um, I find that when it's on the lowest or the darkest setting, I guess. Even at nighttime, when you turn it on in the middle of the night, it's really, really bright. I kind of wish they had a night mode where it would dim it down so it's just very, very dim so it doesn't uh, burn your retinas when you're sleeping. Uh, there's another option on this. Here's different cameras. So if you have other camera units for this in different rooms, you can add a cam, delete a cam, you can scan around so it'll go, it'll switch back and forth between, say, your first camera and your second camera. It's nice to be able to have two units um, if you have two kids or if you want to watch your dog or something. It's nice to be able to have that option. Now the viewing screen on this I think is rather large. So this is the side of a credit card. It's actually a, a gift card, but that's what the size of it is. So it is quite large. Um, you'll notice on the side here there's a green monitor light. It's this means that it's on. It'll light up with red depending on if your baby's crying or if there's noise in the room. So if you have this on silent, which you can also toggle with these buttons, you can turn the volume up and down. So you can hear with the volume up at its uh, highest level, there is some feedback and it's just kind of white noise in the room. As well on the side here in the top left hand corner, it'll tell you what your percentage of battery life is and what camera you're viewing. So in case you have more than one, you can uh, tell which one you're viewing which room. There is a nice little speaker on this side right here and there's also a, a stand that you can use on the back. So it's hard to do this with one hand, but you can when it's in its stocking base, you would have that closed completely. You can clip this onto your belt, which I find is it does it's not very secure when you clip it on your belt, so I just kind of tow it around uh, with this little handle and then you can stand it up to whatever angle you want here. There's also a button on this side, it's the home button. It's the exact same thing as touching the screen. So if you click that, it brings the screen up, or if you touch the front on the right hand side, eh, it brings it up as well. And on the top here, there's a video on off, so in case you want to save batteries, you can turn that it off. It has an automatic shut off of the screen after a couple of minutes. Uh, up at the top here is also the talk button, so this is a two-way radio. You can hear your baby, and when your baby's actually older, you can press this talk button, and it's a speaker comm into the actual monitor itself, so that's kind of cool. And this is the power button at the top here. Sorry for the lighting here, guys. Um, so this is the docking station for this. You'll notice it's got the little plugs there, so all you do is plug this base unit into the wall with, the, with its adapter, and you can plug that in, and that automatically stays on. So you know how I told you there's the automatic shut off after a while? This will actually stay on the entire time that it's plugged in here. You can also have the option of turning it off. So I also wanted to show you the color option on here, since it's fairly bright in the room. Uh, you can see me there. Hello! And then if you look further up, so I'm going to angle this up for you. Uh, that's the cranes, and those are all different colors, and it zooms in. So that's what it looks like there. And there I am again. So that's what the color is like on the monitor, and that's what the color is like in person. I also want to show you what it looks like from far away now, so you can see Grayson's very, very tiny. Uh, this is what it's like zooming in. Oops, that was zoomed in, sorry. So that zoomed out, and that zoomed in. So you can't really see what's going on with his face. You can obviously tell movement. Um, but this is the actual setup where the camera is supposed to be, up there on that wall here. So that's how far away it is, and that's kind of the resolution that you're seeing there. And you see me there as well again. Hello! 
And this is in color. So usually when I'm peeking in on Grayson while he's having a nap, I have it zoomed in on here just so I can tell what's going on, make sure he's okay. Um, and as you can tell with him talking now, you can see the noise bars on here. So if for some reason you have it turned off, you at least have, uh, or sorry, if you have the screen turned off and the volume turned down, you still have a visual indicator as to what's going on. Grayson is being a very good model, aren't you? Say bye bye. This is what the actual um, monitor unit looks like. I never actually noticed all those lights shining inside there. Um, but I will show you moving up and down. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's got an adapter cord so it's not wireless. Uh, you can have the option of making it wireless on this handy little base here. So this is what the wireless base looks like. Uh, it takes four AA batteries. All you have to do is disconnect the power cable. Attach it by twisting and locking onto this portable unit and uh, it simply has an on off switch at the back. So if you're not using it on this you can turn it off so you can uh, conserve battery power. I've never actually used it on battery power so I don't know how long the battery lasts. So that's what it looks like on the battery unit and it does go off of I think it goes off of Wi-Fi signals I'm not too sure but I do notice that sometimes um, our Wi-Fi connection gets interfered with on our internet uh, when we're using our laptops or when hubby's playing games uh, and I'm assuming it's because of this device. I hope that review and footage was a little bit helpful in uh, your deciding factor if you want to purchase this unit or not. Uh it wasn't a very in-depth review, but just an overview of what I thought. I absolutely love having a video monitor. Uh, it just makes my life easier as a mom, and when Grayson's older... The nice thing about this unit, it is portable, so if I want to go outside with him, put him in a playpen, um, I could just watch him if I'm sitting on the deck instead of hovering right over him. I don't know if that's going to happen, but it's just nice to have the option of portability. And if you're going to spend so much money on a video monitor, you might as well get as many features as you can. So I would definitely suggest uh, a pan, a zoom, and possibly portability of it. Anyways, I'm sure I've repeated a bunch of things in this video. It wasn't really planned out like I usually plan my videos, so I apologize if I'm kind of everywhere at once. But if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment in the down bar below. Otherwise, as always, comment, thumbs up, subscribe if you like this video, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! two rubber seal gaskets. There's one on the bottom of the pail here, and there's another one at the very top when you open up the lid. So